Welcome back. So Dorsey goes to Washington. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey met privately with President Trump at the White House yesterday. Earlier in the day, Twitter reported strong earnings, sending the stock soaring. Jackie DeAngelis is here now with more details. And Jackie, welcome to the Fox Business Network. Thank you so much. So glad to be here. And it's yeah. great to see you. Good this morning. This is your first appearance it here. Is. We're happy that it's on Mornings with Maria. And I am too. And welcome to the network. <laughs> happy you're you. here. Uh, so as you mentioned, Twitter, big, big story yesterday. The earnings, of course, were stellar. The stock jumping more than 15% in yesterday's session. So that's one piece of this story. But what about this meeting? The president tweeting a photo of it saying great meeting this afternoon at the White House with at Jack from at Twitter. Lots of subjects discussed regarding their platform and the world of social media in general. Look forward to keeping an open dialogue. But the Twitter conversation started earlier in the day, guys. It started here on this show. Tw Trump, president Trump quoting Dan Ives. He was a guest uh, from Wedbush appearing on your show, Maria. And the president quoting I'm saying that the best thing to ever happen to Twitter is Donald Trump. And then the president went on to criticize social media giants uh, for not treating him as well as a Republican, saying that the practices are discriminatory. It's hard for people to sign on. He also said that Twitter plays political games and that people are constantly taken off his follower list. So these were some of the concerns reportedly addressed at the meeting in the afternoon. In a statement, Twitter spokesperson said, uh, Jack had a constructive meeting with the president of the United States today at the president's invitation. They discussed Twitter's commitment to protecting the health of the public conversation ahead of the 2020 U.S. elections and efforts underway to respond to the opioid crisis. Also reported, Dorsey saying in an email that he realizes he may be criticized for meeting with the president, but that, quote, it's important to meet heads of state in order to listen, share principles and ideas. So, you know, he's coming at this, guys, as a businessman, and he's saying, even if I'm not necessarily on the same page as the president, I certainly want to sit down and have this conversation with him and let him know that um, his needs and the rest of the needs of, of Americans and people using Twitter are being addressed here. And obviously, the president, whether you love him or you hate him, you can say he's changed this platform in terms of how he's using it. He sure has. And But but I think there are still questions about, about social media and what, whether or not they're censoring conservative sure. views, whether or not uh, they, they are not telling the whole story. The Google searches is one. So there is some truth to that. What do you think, Ed? I, I use Facebook all the time to communicate with family, friends, and others. And I've been taken down two or three times because of statements I've made about political issues. And uh, I find that offensive. But I think the age of communication we have today and the way we're communicating with citizens, I think this is very important. And I think there's an important lesson here. Have dialogue, have discussion, sure. get face to face. The Democrats ought to learn that. Yeah. Combating each other is not going well, that, to make well, this country Well, that's great. what Jack Dorsey actually just did by meeting the president. And he's actually been known to say, Jack Dorsey specifically said, he sees Twitter as the people's news network, PNN. Right. So he's talked about that. Um, one of the interesting aspects about Twitter that, that a lot of people want to fix is that there's no edit button, right? So and it's always, so people are deleting things. So so there are some things that... Yeah, they that, need an edit button. Right. <laughs> so, so I didn't. I posted a yeah. tweet the other day after we had Elisa Sorrell on the boot maker. Yeah, yeah. And I referred to book maker yeah and not boot maker I just didn't delete I didn't edit. yeah I deleted. and you couldn't and you couldn't edit it but yeah. on Instagram you can edit right exactly right. right so that's one of the arguments too being made about about his it's platform. why I use Facebook because I can edit my <laughs> stupidity out of the uh, post well it's interesting also because back to the earnings picture uh, Jack Dorsey saying after reporting those blowout numbers as well remember this is a company that had a market cap yesterday with that stock increase of 30 billion dollars a huge company and he also said that they were open to exploring regulation and open to communicating with lawmakers to try to make the platform a little bit more fair. So it seems like, you know, in light of what's happened at Facebook, this conversation is moving forward. Is yeah. he going for a Game of Thrones halo? Because he looks like Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> in that yeah. Right? Yeah. He's with going for beard? something. Yeah. It, it, well, it's, it, it's what's also, he doing with this? I don't, I don't know. know. He's, been, he's been going down this route, but he also, you, one of the recent news stories about him is he, he's take, he takes ice baths. He does an hour of meditation he's every amazing. day before. He yeah. walks five miles to work right. every day. Jack, it takes him an yeah, hour. Really? Yes, yes right? Jack does. Yeah. But he also runs another publicly traded yes. company called Square. Yeah. So it's just fascinating. He, he's an enigma wrapped in a quagmire, stuck in a conundrum or whatever the saying <laughs> yeah. is. I also read he eats one meal a day. It seems like he's highly yeah. disciplined and it's sort of these regiments and, and what he's doing in his personal life that help him be a better CEO. Wow. Well, that's one awesome. meal I like a day, that. I don't like that. You don't like that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's he got to have four meals a day. I don't I think he's got to go. 
That's right. <laughs> Fat Vans is a first stop. Exactly. So Jackie has just joined the Fox Business Network family. Yay, Welcome, Jackie. Jackie. You guys. Who you. is Jackie DeAngelis? We know you love to golf, and we know you love to travel. Close with your family. Yes. There um, you are. On the, wow. What there I am on the golf course. Um, actually, I love to golf. It's one of my mo more recent hobbies that I've picked up. Someone very important to me taught me how to golf. Um, so that's where I'll be on the weekends this summer. But I love to travel. That was me um, just before the Arab Spring in Egypt with a girlfriend wow. of mine traveling mm -hmm. and reporting there. In Turkey, Istanbul, the Blue Mosque. Um, so travel, very, very important. One of the reasons that I really love my job. Um, that is a shot of me in Block Island, Rhode Island getting the shot of a wind farm that you can't see, but I will do anything to get the live shot. <laughs> anything. <laughs> um, and of course, that's a picture of my mom. Love my family. Love my mom. She's so supportive and just a great person. Well, now so. you're a member of our family. Yes. Thank and you. I think that you will find that the people are supportive of one another on the air and off the air right here. Yes, amazing. Exactly. Amazing. For Thank sure. you for We're having happy me. Happy here, Jackie. Thank you so much. Jackie D'Angelo.